Hi everybody, it's Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company and welcome to Couch to Quilt video number seven, attaching your borders. Now attaching borders to a quilt is really important because it frames it all up. It's like the frame on a picture and it can help square up your quilt as well. So let me show you how to do that. What you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to make sure you have your, your little rotary mat out, you're gonna have your ruler, you're gonna have your rotary cutter and you're gonna grab this piece of solid fabric from your uh, box and now is the first time we're really gonna do our rotary cutting. So hopefully you've been practicing and you're ready to go because we are gonna put three and a half inch borders on this quilt, which means um, we're just gonna do some, we gotta cut some border pieces off of here. Now I already know that the width of fabric is about 40 inches wide and my quilt is smaller than that. So I'm gonna need one of these strips for each side and then we're gonna cut them to size. So um, you can see that your fabric fits fine on the mat like this, but I like to see a little bit more of the numbers. Make sure you're comfortable with it. So I often turn my mat this way and I cut this way so that I can see more of my mat. I don't know why, I just like it better that way, but you personal preference, you gotta do what makes sense for you. All right, so now what I'm doing is, here's my piece of fabric. I'm going to fold it up here in half. I have my selvages right here. These are the part with the, with the little holes in them. Those are the selvages. That's actually how they bind the fabric to the machines when they make it. And I'm gonna fold it and make sure it is lined up um, right exactly on here. I'm also lining it up on my mat to make sure it's straight. If you ever cut a strip and it has like an elbow in it, then the fold isn't straight. And you can tell whether your fold is straight because when you hang it, it'll hang straight. So you're probably gonna have a piece that this outer edge might be a little rough, so we need to clean up that edge. So I'm going to lay my ruler right here like this on the mat here. And I, I'm lining it up with this line right here. I have a little bit of my fabric sticking out on this side. I'm lining it up exactly. I'm putting my hand so it's half on the fabric, half on the ruler. And now I open my rotary cutter and I place my blade next to the ruler and we're gonna make one straight slice and clean up that edge. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna move this over and we're gonna count one, two, three, and a half. And I'm gonna match that up. We got our little half marks on our ruler, match them up on either side. Again, hold it tightly, keep your fingers away from the edge. And if your ruler starts to slide at all, you just wanna stop and, um, and reassess yourself so you make sure this is, this, you're holding this down very well. And we're gonna go ahead and cut four of these because we need one for each side of our quilt. Now over here, I've already done the rest of the cutting over here, so I have four strips cut here. And, um, and when, now that we're ready to add them, we have to know how big our quilt is. Really, the best way to add borders is to measure from the center. So here's our quilt top right here. And when you make a quilt top, particularly if it's a big quilt, these edges can get stretched. They can get a little wonky, a little crazy. So your most stable measurement is going to come right through the center. We're going to put our border pieces on the sides first. That's the longest part of the quilt. And so we're going to fold this in half like this. And then I'm going to measure how long this is. Now my mat really isn't long enough for me to do that. If you have a longer um, way to measure this, it's best to keep it open. But if you have to fold it, you can do that. So just make sure that it's nice and folded, no, uh, no rumples or pleats in there. You're gonna lay this on the edge right here. You're gonna come over here and you're gonna see that this is very close to 16 and a quarter. We double that. So it's gonna be 32 and a half. So we know we have to cut two of our borders, 32 and a half. So I'm gonna have mine right here together and I'm going to lay two on top of each other. They're still folded. And I'm going to trim my selvages off right here. Just open them up. Again, watch your cutting, make sure you're very safe. Then you're ready to trim your borders to size. And we can do that um, by using that same 16 and a quarter, but you wanna turn that around because you wanna make sure you don't cut off your fold. So ours are folded in half, which means when we open them, they'll be 32 and a half. And I am cutting mine 16 and a quarter right here. And these will be perfect for my sides. There we go. All right. So now we can't cut the top and bottom one because we're gonna add these borders and we're not sure what size it's gonna end up. I mean, you could know if you did the math, but you know, math, math and me, that's not my favorite. 
So what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to open up my quilt and I'm going to lay my border piece right along the edge and it should be pretty close. I'm going to find my center here and I'm going to find my center on my square which is here and I'm going to put my first pin right there in the middle. I'm going to put pin the edges as well. Make sure that fits pretty good there. If you find that you have a little bit extra, that's okay. We can just trim that off. Uh, but you want to make sure that it's pretty close to fitting where you want it to fit. Okay, we're going to go ahead and pin on the other side as well. And then we're just going to sew them down quarter of an inch on either side. All right, so I've got my borders pinned on both sides and I'm ready to sew them down. We're going to sew them at a quarter of an inch. Now you'll notice on my quilt right here, and this is important, your border fabric should always be on top when you're sewing. So your quilt lays on the bottom. You've put your borders right sides together and we are sewing them down a quarter of an inch on the side. And so I'm just gonna sew along here and I'm gonna do this to both sides. I'm just gonna attach my borders. Make sure they stay lined up nice and even and then just sew. So once you get your border all sewn on, we need to press it open. So we're going to go right over here to the ironing board. I'm just going to roll that back and press it. A flat quilt top is really what we're looking for. It doesn't really matter which way your seams lay on the back because hopefully no one's ever going to look inside your quilt. But uh, you do want a nice flat top. And so I like to press from the top and then if it matters that the seams are going a certain direction, then I will make them go the way I want after I'm done pressing on the top. So once you're pressed and ready to go, it's time to add the borders on the top and the bottom. You can see we've got them on the sides. They look great. We will do this the exact same way as we did on the sides. So we're going to fold our quilt in half. And if you have a long place to measure, that really is the most convenient. We are going to fold it in half again and we're going to measure, this is the middle up here, we're going to measure on here and it's going to be 17 and a quarter. You double that and the width of it should be 34 and a half. Now I took my two border pieces and laid them out on my mat and went ahead and pre-cut those to 34 and a half. Now measure your own because your measurement could be different. That depends entirely upon your seam allowance. So be really careful and measure your own and then we're going to add them to either side. Now I have, add my, I'm going to pin it in the middle, make sure they stay lined up right sides together. And there really isn't a right side for your solid, so don't stress over that. Um, and I'm going to pin it here at the beginning and at the middle and at the end. And I'm going to go ahead and sew both these sides on and we'll meet you right back here. So now we've got our last border on and we're ready to go. Now sometimes in spite of all your measuring, um, these may not match up exactly. They may not, you know, you may have a little overhang or something like that. If that's the case, you can just lay your ruler on here and just trim that off. Easy little fix. You want to make sure your ends are all even and it's time to press it. You want to do, you want to just go ahead and really press your top well. Make sure it's nice and ironed. And we're going to do that here because this is the very last step before mailing it in. Is this not so cool? So we're going to press it, make sure it's all nice and smooth. This is so exciting. Alrighty, a little bit more, a little bit more. All right, we've got all our borders pressed. And take a look at this. This is so cool. You did this. You made this quilt. This is your first quilt and this is a very exciting moment. So join us in the next video when I show you how to mail it in and it'll come back amazing.